Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com, where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. We'll be translating verbal expressions into algebraic expressions, so there's some terms we need to know. The first one is sum. When you see the sum, that refers to addition. So when you see this word sum, it means we're going to be adding. Okay, sum is the same thing as adding. So if we read this, the sum of a number and six. Makes sense if you have a sum, you've got two things. So the two things we have is we've got a number and six. Usually it's separated by that word and. Okay, so what do we call the number? Well, let's just use a variable. I'm going to use n for number. So we could write n, that's one part of the sum, and six is the other part of the sum. So that's how we would write the sum of a number and six. What about the difference? of a number and two. Difference refers to subtraction. So when you see the word difference, it means we are subtracting. And again, notice it says of a number and two, the two parts are separated by that word and. So whatever comes first, you'll put before the minus sign, and when it comes after the word and, is what you would subtract. That's how you would differentiate what goes first and what comes second. So again, let's just use n again to represent the number. It has to be a variable, n2. So n minus 2 was how we would, is how we would write the difference of a number in 2. All right, next one. The product of a number in 5. Product means multiplication. So when you see the word product, you have to associate that with multiplying. We've got a number and five. So how would we write a number and five multiplied together? Well, you could say n times five, right? Often you would write this as five times n. And the most simplified way of writing it is, you know when you have a dot between it and you have a variable and a number, you could just put it together and write it as 5n. Now, you could also put a parenthesis around the n, or a parenthesis around the 5, or a parenthesis around both of them. There's more than uh, these three ways to show a product, but 5n is probably the simplest way of writing this answer. So that would be the product of a number in 5. The last one will be the quotient, or ratio. Both of those words represent subtraction. Both quotient and ratio mean division, but we usually don't write the division sign when we're doing algebra. So a more common way of writing this answer, again, we're separating a number and four, so those are the two things. You could, of course, say let's, the number is n, n divided by 4. And it doesn't matter whether it says quotient or ratio. Both of them mean the same thing. That represents division. So whatever comes first goes before the division sign. So we have a number and 4. Those are the two things. I forgot to subtract, uh, to circle it up here. Here we go. Um, so the more common way of writing this is as a fraction. So we say the quotient of a number divided by, we use the fraction bar, and 4. So this is the way we usually want to write our answers when we are doing algebra, so when we're working with variables. So we've got the sum of a number in 6 and plus 6, the difference of a number in 2 and minus 2 the product of a number in 5 is 5n. It looks funny to put n5. We always put the um, coefficient, the number part, in front of the variable. And the last is the quotient or the ratio of a number in 4. 
the way we write that is n over 4. So whatever comes first, you put in the numerator, and, and what comes second and 4, that's what goes in the denominator. All right, there are a lot of ways of expressing subtraction, and there's a lot of little nuances here. Let's look at these. S 6 more than a number, that refers to addition because we're doing more than something, so we're going to add it. So if it says 6 more than a number, think of 6 more than your age. Well, you'd have to know your age, and then you would add 6 to it. So in this case, 6 more than a number means you start with a number, so we have a number, and then we're going to do 6 more than that, so we're going to add 6 to it. Now the question is, could you write 6 plus n? Certainly, because n plus 6 does happen to be the same thing as 6 plus n. But these next three are subtraction, and it's going to make a difference what comes first before the minus sign and what comes after the minus sign. So let's look at this first one, 7 less than a number. So one technique is thinking about how you would answer this question. 7 less than my age, how would you get that answer? You would take your age and then you would subtract 7 from it. So instead of starting with our age, we're going to start with a number, okay, and then we're going to subtract 7 from it. So this is tricky. It's not 7 minus n. What it's saying is 7 less than a number, it means you have to start with a number and then subtract 7 from it. Now, look at this third one. It's not the same. It says 7, oops, it is the same. I didn't mean to put less than. I meant to put 7 less a number. A little bit different. 7 less a number. Well, first of all, most people don't talk that way, but you might see this once in a while. 7 less a number means we start with 7. Less a number means we take away that number. So this is 7 minus n. That's pretty tricky. What's the difference? It doesn't have that word less than. So again, for this one, 7 less than a number, if you're not sure how to do it, put in something you would know, like your age, and then do the same thing using a number as opposed to your age. 7 less a number, that's like saying 7 less 2, you mean you start with 7, subtract 2. And how about this last one? 9 decreased by a number, it means I've got to start with 9, and then I'm going to decrease it, so I have to take something away from it, and I'm going to take away the number, again I'll call it n. These are pretty tricky, the ones for subtraction. So as you can see that we had the word difference, which means subtraction, but here's some other ways that subtraction might come up. You also might see minus, or you might see subtracted from, decreased by is here, etc. There's a few more that might pop up. By the way, these are all just expressions. They're not equations. We're not solving for anything. We're just writing an expression. Notice there's no verb, six more than a number. 7 less than a number, etc. No verb. It's not going to be an equation. There's going to be no equal sign. We're simply writing an expression from English into mathematical symbols. Let's try um, doing some that are used for multiplication. All right, first one here. Twice a number. What does that mean? Twice the number just means two times the number. So if we're going to use n for the number, two times the number, you would just write as 2n. Now this next one, I'm putting two things together. It says three times a number. Well, what would that be? That would be 3n. Okay, three times a number subtracted from 10. Okay, so what are you going to start with? Three times a number or the number 10? Well, you're subtracting from 10, so that means you've got to start off with 10, and then you're going to subtract something from it, and what are you going to subtract? 3 times a number, that would be 3n. So there are a couple examples where we've got multiplication in the mix, and the second one also has this subtraction. Okay, try these two on your own. Put the video on pause and see if you could write this as an expression and go ahead and
let the number be n. Okay, so what do we have? 5 added to the product of 9 and a number. So we're adding 5 to something, so I have to do this part first. The product, remember, means multiplication. And what are the two parts? I've got 9 and a number. So how do I write the product of 9 and a number? I do 9 times n, which is 9n. And then it says I'm going to add 5 to that, so then I add 5. That's what you should get. All right, next one. 6 less than the quotient of a number in 4. So 6 less than something means I'm going to take away 6 from something. So I know I'm going to subtract 6 from something. Now I've got to figure out what I'm subtracting it from. What am I subtracting 6 from? The quotient, okay, remember what the quotient means. We write that as a fraction fraction bar, and we have the number and 4, so we'll put n in the numerator, because that comes before the word and, so in the 4 in the denominator. So we've got n over 4 minus 6. So now we've written 6 less than the quotient of a number and 4. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.